I feel like I bridged the gap between like the street niggas and like the SoundCloud shit. You know, I'm a storyteller. You know what I'm saying? So shit, just me going in and telling the story. I like, man, what's on my mind right now? People want to know, like, damn, Max, so why you be so savage? Where's all that come from? Just I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a hybrid. So instead of telling you like, fuck, we about to go shoot the ops, shoot their mama. Ooh, ooh, I can tell you what was going on. Like it's other sides to that. You know what I'm saying? I think this is probably the first time this record has been played on the air. Young ass niggas mobbing, screaming, fuck the institution. Hella stupid, robbing, shooting. If we meet his execution. Max O'Cream from the southwest side, Houston, Texas. Town called Ailey, you know what I'm saying? And he's weeding Whitney Houston. I got serious 2012, that's all I'm gonna say. But I've been trying to rap, I used to suck ass though. Like when I wrote my first rap when um how old was I? I like 10, my little cousin was eight, it was called Lace up my Nikes, lace up my Nikes. We thought we was going to the WWE, NFL, we ain't going to rap. Realistically, she seriously, I've been rapping about two years, you know what I'm saying? But I always been bullshit freestyling, you know what I'm After I had went to jail for a little bit, got out, I like, you know what? I'm going to really try this rap shit. That like 2011. In 2012 is like when I really started going. In 2015 is like when it really, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. Head on down the hook, heels, wheelies on the front. I got this 89, I got into like, like the cool kids and shit back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Chuck English. They was dope on the sneaker shit. So like, I always kind of been like in that little lane and shit. Then like, so like, I be jamming like Gucci Man, Young Scooter, OJ the Juice Man, and the Freddie Gibbs and shit. Like, from that moment, it just, everything just been mixing like a big gumbo pot. I grew up with this fat motherfucker right here. I watched this nigga do a lot of crazy ass shit. I'm trying to just see how crazy this show, shit goes. Everybody make some noise for my nigga back so one time. Hold on real quick. I always have my city on, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say lock, but being known, cause like, I had a click called Crane Click. Stand for kicks with everything around me. We used to like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say terrorize, but we used to terrorize the city. That's what they just look at me as, so they just hit cream click like, oh, you talk about those skinny jean niggas that beat people up and do shit like that, woo woo. So like, now nah, they start looking at me like, nah, this nigga a real rapper, he changed this shit. I talk a lot of street shit, but all like the white kids, they fuck with it. I don't know if it's the Supreme I rock, is it the sneakers and shit? I feel like they got a lot to do with it too, because once I got into the sneaker culture, I got into all that, which really crossed me over, you feel me? But me still being a street nigga, I could bring that essence. Man, I feel like I had it. With Maximum 187, there's a lot of stories. But Summer Tape, it was stories, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. With Pumpkin, I wanted to bring you more into my life, like more personal. Step outside the trap world. You know what I'm saying? Like, not sure that I'm just one dimensional, just a trap rapper. Wake up in the morning, load my pistol, can't live on without it. Come from where you see a lot of bodies, but don't talk about it. But like with my mom's side, my grandma, my cousins, my family, like, they play a big role in my life, like growing up. Shit, even till today, you know what I'm saying? We just real tight, so I want to bring that part in. Plus, Pumpkin, that's my nickname that my family called me, that my mom gave me. Because the first three years when I was born, I was a big ass pumpkin for Halloween. People don't know that shit. Yeah, Max Lou, the crew was a punk. Yeah, bitch, I was a pumpkin. And with my family, do the struggle, hold them down regardless. Since I bleed sweat like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Plus, like, with Max 187 for Sunday Tape, I would say it more like, it was more like, nigga, shut up, I'm gonna beat you up. We're gonna show up your house, kidnap your mama, ooh, type shit. With this, it's like, okay, you can do that kind of shit, but this, these, these are the consequences that happen with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know, a lot of niggas rap like that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be the truth. A lot of people don't give you the backside of what happened after you do shit like that. Like, you go shoot up somebody's house, but they might come back and shoot up your mama's house. You know what I'm saying? Niggas think that shit cool. Shit ain't cool, bro. But then, you know, that's that SoundCloud shit. Niggas ain't never killed nothing. You know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, if a nigga had a face tat, you can't even look that nigga in the eye. Like, something was wrong with him, bro. Like, he need Jesus, you feel me? Back when a face that was for OG killers. Now I'm seeing teardrops on you, SoundCloud niggas. Remember back when music had content and metaphors. Way before the mumble nonsense and popping handlebars. Niggas say free day partners on Instagram and Twitter all day. You'll see it like shit. Like niggas saying free TK. How many of these niggas really wouldn't think I'll put money on TK books? Really checking on, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's real shit. 
about the H inspires you the most? I mean, shit. What really inspires me right now is that like we not on top. You know what I'm saying? The H not where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Like where it used to be. I'm trying to bring that shit back. Think about it. We come from DJ Screw. Having the goddamn tap your CDs out your trunk, open up a screw shop. Hey, you gotta grind, bro. Houston, they ain't, they ain't give you no handouts, no nothing. Paul Watson, them th all them they had to grind. It's the same shit with our generation. So you ain't grinding, but it's a different grind now. You grind through the internet, you can finesse it, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is. But now we like, we said fuck that, we merged all this shit together. We really about to break down the fucking wall right now, nigga, this new Houston. Wake up in the morning, low my pistol, can't leave home without it. Come from where you see a lot of bodies, but don't talk about it. Hard to find a plug, I'm middle man, that package, don't consign it.